Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Kevin Scrum. I know it's been a while since I posted an actual YouTube video, but we're going to try to get back into the business. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the best PvP talents for Hunter and for Marksmanship Hunter. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so let's get into the talents. We're going to be starting off with the Hunter tree first. So you're going to take a custom shot for the slow. Kill shot obviously into impre improved kill shot, which uh, kill shot's crit damage is increased by 25%. Then you obviously want post taste, so when you disengage, you get that movement speed. Then you want counter shot, so you can interrupt people. And then you can only put one point in natural bending, uh, so every 25 focus you spend reduces the remaining cooldown of exhilaration by one second. And then you're gonna run survival of the fittest, which is new. This only was usable when you didn't have a pet. Now it works even when you have a pet. Reduces all damage you and your pet take for 40% 40, 40 for 6 seconds. And then you want Tar Trap, obviously, to get the slow. And then you're going to come over here and take Train Shot to take in Rage Effects and Magic Effects. And then you want Entrapment, so when people hit Tar Trap, they are rooted for 4 seconds. It breaks off damage. Then you only want 1 point in Improved Traps, so you reduce the cooldown of your traps, basically. And then you want to take Nature's Endurance. Survival of the Fittest reduces the damage taken by another additional 20%. Then you want Born to be Wild, reduces the cooldown of all your aspects by 20%. Then you want Intimidation, because PvP, you want the stun. This is the first time. Uh, maybe Marks had it back in the day, but I'm glad Marks has a stun again. Fuck. And then you're going to go Scatter Shot for PvP. Then you're going to take Rejuvenate Wind. Uh, Exhilaration heals you for an additional 20% over 8 seconds. Then you take Camo, obviously. Then you're going to take Pathfinding. Movement speed is increased by 6%. And then you're going to come over here and take Keen Eyesight, get that crit chance up by 4%, crit strike chance. And then you're going to come over here and take Marks, Master Marksman. So your melee and range special attack critical strikes cause the target to bleed for an additional 15% over 6 seconds. Then you're going to take Serpent Sting, obviously, and then you're going to take late, uh, Poison Injection. So... Whenever the target has Serpent Sting on them, it get, gets up to 10 stacks and your aim shot will consume those stacks once the um, once you shoot someone with the 10 stacks of latent poison, which is pretty good for damage. So I think that's the way to go for PvP. And then with the buff to um, Explosive Shot, I think going down to Explosive is the way to go now. Arctic Bola. So aim shot has a chance to f uh, fling an Arctic Bola to your target, dealing 13... Thousand frost damage and snaring the target by 20% for three seconds. It can strike up to four targets at once. You just have to go like this to grab an explosive shot, and I think it's worth with the buff. And then you want death chakram, obviously. So it's just like in from Shadowlands. Enemies struck by death chakram take 10% more damage. That's why you want it. And each time it deals damage, its damage is increased by 15%, and you gain focus off death chakram, which is really good. Um, so that is the hunter tree. Now we are going to go over the marksman ship tree. So you want aim shot, then crack shot to reduce the focus cost for arcane shot. Then you want rapid fire, of course. And then you want precise shots. So your arcane shots do 75% more damage. After you aim shot, you get a proc. And then you're going to come over here and take streamline. So rapid fire damage is increased by 15%. And then the next aim shot you cast, cast 30% faster. Then you want killer accuracy, kill shot, crit strike chance is increased by 20%. And then you're going to come over here and take surging shot. So your rapid fire does more damage and your aim shot has a 15% chance to reset the cooldown. So rapid fire damage, that's what you want. Death blow, aim shot has a 15% chance. And rapid, rapid fire has a 25% chance to grant you a charge of kill shot and cause your next kill shot to be usable on target regardless of their health. So this is really good. And then target practice, arcane shot deals increased damage by 25%. You obviously want that. Then you want careful aim. So your aim shot does more damage to people who have more health, up to 70% 70 health, does 50% more damage in PvP. And then you're going to come over here and take focused aim. Aim shot and rapid fire deals 10% more damage. Obviously, you want that. And then you're going to take razor fragments. So your next kill shot will deal 50% Increase damage and shred up to five targets near your kill shot target for 25% of the damage dealt by kill shot over six seconds. And then you're going to take Deadeye. 
Uh, so you get two charges of kill shot. You're going to take double tap, obviously, and, and you're going to be one of B double tapping rapid fire. And then you can double tap aim shot. I think the only time you really want to do that is if you have 10 stacks of latent poison and you get an insta proc from lock and load. So, but otherwise, I think you should just be red, double tapping rapid fire right now. Then you're going to take bursting shot for kiting and peeling for PvP. Then you're going to take um, steady focus to get the true shot. So, using steady shot twice gives you 8% haste for 15 seconds. And then you're going to take serpent sting trickery. So, every time you aim shot, it fires a serpent sting. This will help with latent poison stacks to try to get the max stacks. Because every time you aim shot, it's going to consume the stacks and you'll have to restart over. So, yeah, every time it ticks or every time you throw Serpent Sting on, it gives you another stack. So, and then you're going to come over here and take Lock and Load to get that insta 8% chance to get insta aim shots. Then you're going to take Bullseye. So your abilities damage a target below 20% 20 health. You gain 1% increased crit strike chance for 6 seconds, stacking up 30 times. So that's 30%. And then you're going to come over here and obviously take True Shot. And then take Eagle Talons True Focus. So true shot lasts an additional three seconds, reduces the cost of your arcane shot by 25% and reduces the focus cost of aim shot by 25%. Then you're gonna take over here vision. While true shot is active, you gain 1% crit strike chance and 2% increased critical damage dealt every one second, stacking up 10 times. And for the PvP talents, you're gonna to wanna to take Carmero Sting. You're gonna take survival tactics to get that 95 90% absorption for 1.5 seconds when you feign death. And then obviously you want War of Sack for PvP. These are the talents you're going to want to run for PvP for Season 1 of Dragonflight. So let's get right into the rotation. So what you want to do, you want to service team first. Uh, explosive shot, death chakrams, then pop everything. And then rapid fire. Aim shot. Arcane, arcane. Aim shot again. Arcane, arcane. Rapid fire. I'm not getting a kill shot proc surprisingly. But that's basically it. You just do it over and over again. So you'll be at like 35k DPS. Whew. I'm going to show you how it works in PvP. Let's get right into it. Oh my goodness. 